Our advice on this is absolutely. Um, you know, once your dog has transitioned to a, a raw meat diet, and in fact, I would say a raw meat lifestyle, because it is more than just a nutritional change, it's a whole lifestyle change. But once they have been transitioned to the raw food way, if I can put it like that, um, the key, the key nutritional thing is once you've locked in the fact that your, your dog's on the right kind of diet, uh, that it's from an evolutionary perspective been designed to eat and you've started to notice the benefits. Once that's happened, diversity is key. So different brands, different flavors, different recipes, different protein sources. So beef, chicken, turkey, anything and everything you can get your hands on. Diversity is absolutely key. And the reason for that is that uh, feeding a range of different uh, diets also helps to ensure that uh, ultimately your dog is getting a balanced diet. Um, but it's also tweaking their digestive system and digestive processes to, to always be prepared to extract maximum nutrients out of whatever you're offering them. And if you think of dogs in the natural state and cats in the natural state, they do eat a variety of different different prey, um, depending on the season, depending on where in the world they happen to find themselves um, and whatever's available at the time. So at Wiley's we talk about species appropriate nutrition, we talk about the evolutionary diet. What we're actually trying to do here is we're trying to mimic as closely as we can what these animals would normally be eating in the natural state. So everything you see here is obviously packaged, processed, raw dog food and cat food. Um, but it's close, but not exactly what dogs and cats would do in the natural state because, you know, we're feeding them out of, uh, out of containers. They're not having to hunt. But one of the ways we can get close to what happens in the natural state is we can vary the diet and um, as I say from the point of view of the digestive processes but also their microbiome diversity is absolutely key so that would be our, our take-home message here once your dog is on roll then please feel free to vary across brands across uh, protein types it, it, it will benefit your dog in the long run